You're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shannon Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. Last uh, segment, I gave you the call-in number if you've got a real estate question, 281-882-8088. I'm also going to give you our Twitter uh, hashtag, our, our handle. It's hashtag H-R-E-R. If you want to tweet us your questions, you can. We, uh, we like to take your questions and answer them right here on the air. This segment, I'm continuing my conversation with Ken Halbert. He's the director of sales and marketing at the village at Glenlock Farms. And Glenlock Farms, I'm sure you've heard of it, is a great, a beautiful master plan community. And nestled right in there, uh, Ken has this great facility where um, we're, it's, it's a retirement community and it's a really beautiful facility and they have so much to offer residents. So we've been talking about that and I appreciate you coming out on Mother's Day to share this, uh, this with us. If somebody is interested in learning more about what you guys have to offer, um, um, how can they get in touch with you? Well, they can call us directly at 281-569-2999. That's our direct line. Or they can visit us at um, glenlockseniorliving.com. Okay, and we'll have a link to that on our website as well. Okay. Um, if you watch the video online, we'll have that that web address for you and a link to it as well. So you can certainly go online and see the community, get a lot of information. But I would think most people need to come out and really put boots on the ground and, and give a tour, get a tour of it to really get a feel for it. Is that right? Oh, yes, absolutely. I highly so, recommend that. So when they come out and do a tour, um, they get to see all the facilities and, and see residents and just really get a feel for what it's all like? Yes, they do. And see the different um, levels that you offer? They do. And, you know, they typically enter in through our independent living. That's the main entrance, which is off of 9505 North Point Boulevard mm -hmm. um, in the master plan community at the corner of Champion Forest and North Point. Um, so when they come in, you know, they'll be greeted by a concierge service, and, um, and then they'll be called to, to meet with me. And... When someone lives at, at a community like this, the independent living, I know for some people, is so crucial. They want to be able to still uh, go get on a plane and, and go do all the things that they want to do in life and, and go see their children and grandchildren. Um, do you, uh, what does maintenance-free community mean? Do they still have to change their own light bulbs, paint? You know, what is involved in that? Maintenance-free living is just that. I mean, all they do is pay their monthly service fee. Mm -hmm. Food is included. Utilities are included. Housekeeping. Um, uh, um, when I said maintenance, I mean we change light bulbs. We touch up paint or repaint carpet. We mop. We do everything. I mean, you don't have to do a thing. Um, no worries. It's worry-free living. And that's the most important thing about this is that you don't have to. I just met with someone today as an example, Her and she's having foundation issues already twice. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she's in her 80s. That's mm -hmm. not something she really needs to be worrying about. Right. So right. if she were yeah. living at the village of Glenlock Farms, her money that she puts down with us takes care of her for the rest of her life versus in your home, nowhere in your deed does it say they're gonna, that's, that that house is going to take care of you. Right. <laughs> you take care of that home. And that's, right. that's what she's busy doing right now. Wow. Okay. So um, I know you've got so many amenities there, and, and I'm, I'm sure fan, like the uh, services that you talked about last segment, the um, religious services that you offer there at the chapel, can family come and go to those services with the residents. Absolutely. And what about grandchildren? Sure. We encourage family to come to the community, mm -hmm. and they do. That's what's nice about our community is the residents truly make the village of Glenlock Farms the community it is. So can grandchildren come and spend the night with you and go to the pool with you and go eat with you, all they, that? Oh, yes. Grandchildren, children. I mean, we see several generations of children um, at the community. Again, even great-grandchildren, mm -hmm. which just makes it so nice. And the other residents really love it. Yeah. Plus, we're pet-friendly. That's the uh, other Oh, really? Thing. Yes. So you can bring your pets with you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pets are welcome. Well, that's great. All right. So do you all have a dog park? We do. You do? We have a dog park. We call <laughs> it the everything. Bark Park. I want to come yeah. live there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So are there any tax implications for families moving there? Because some family, like husbands and wives, will come and move there together. Are there any tax implications for moving there? Well, yeah, there's a huge tax benefit because we are uh, Northwest Houston's only full-service continuing care retirement community, which there's the entrance fee that we talked about mm -hmm. earlier, where it starts anywhere from 200000 on up to 400000 that 
one-time entrance fee of, let's just say, 200000 the first year you move in, you're able to write a portion of that off on your taxes. Okay. Then every year thereafter, the monthly service fee that you've paid in, mm-hmm. you can write a portion of that off if you itemize. The IRS sees this as a um, as you prepaying for your medical care, essentially. Okay, good. Well, that's good. Yeah, so there are tax benefits, and our residents take advantage of that. And And I would think they need to, because they no longer have a homestead. Absolutely. And then we have an outside uh, accounting firm that sends a letter to each resident, because every percentage is going to be different Mm -hmm. based on you know, the resident's income and whatnot, and the so apartment they use they're that in. To, to do their taxes. Correct. And talk about the security measurements on site, because I know you said some, some residents will go in and get on a plane and go travel for two weeks, three weeks, and then come back. It's very secure, right? It's a very secure community. It's a gated community. Um, we have 24 hour security. Um, it's the lock and leave lifestyle. And that's what's so nice. So many of our residents are still world travelers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they let us know at the front desk that they're leaving so that we know not to worry about them. Mm-hmm. Um, or if we haven't seen them in the hallways or in the dining room or at the pool, we know, okay, they're out of the state yeah. or out of the country. Mm-hmm. But what's nice for them is they lock their door, they go. They don't have to worry about stopping the newspaper, having someone collect their mail, um, water the yard, or any of that. It's Mm -hmm. all taken care of. Even in our cottages where you have a front yard, a backyard, all of the maintenance is taken care of. So I love it. All yeah. right. So who do you normally see as the decision maker? Is it the the elderly person or, or the, the retired person or is it their children? Who do you normally see that's making the decisions about all this? You know, that's a great question. Because it's an emotional decision. It's a financial decision. It's a family. It's a lot of decisions. It really is. Um, I see about 50-50 um, it depends, you know, sometimes I see a lot of the adult children when mom or dad or mom and dad have waited a little bit longer to make this decision, mm-hmm. then the children are kind of getting involved and helping out with the decision. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, so many of my residents, especially when we first opened back in 2008 and before that, when I was doing the early marketing back in 05, 2005, um, the decision makers were my residents. They were making this decision on their own while they still could, mm-hmm. which was so important to them mm-hmm. because they said they don't want to burden their children with having to make this decision. Yeah. So their advice to my prospects when they meet with them mm-hmm. is to make the decision while you still can mm-hmm. and no one else is making it for you. So if you live in the, the independent living area, as you age and need more, you move to the assisted living? Yes. You can okay. just move through the continuum. And now that we've been open five and a half years, I've seen some of my residents start out in independent living and literally move right through the continuum, mm-hmm. which that's what it's designed for. And our residents have priority access to the levels of care at a discounted rate. So the benefit for them and their family is, is they never have to worry if there's a change in health You know, it's not, they don't have to panic as, what do we need to do now? Where do we need to move mom or dad or mom and dad to? It's right there at the community. Any misconceptions that you want to clarify before we get off the air here? Anything you would tell someone who's thinking about moving and just isn't sure about it? Misconceptions that you see people having every day? Yes, that it's not an old folks home. (laughs) It's not a nursing home. Mm -hmm. We do have a nursing home. It's our skilled nursing, but the village at Glenlock Farms is independent living. That's our, our primary core is 123 independent residences. I would think you have a, a waiting list to get in. We do. We are now working off of a wait, waiting list. So at what age should you start looking at this? Because you may be on a waiting list for 10 years. So I, I would say the sooner the better. 62, when you turn 62, mm-hmm. I would start investigating and maybe even consider making that move. Because the, the sooner you move in, the mm-hmm. more benefit you get out of the the lifestyle. Yeah, that's true, because you're, yes. you're there longer, you get to enjoy it longer and, and get the benefits. Of Absolutely, it. yes. Well, it's exciting. I know that there are a lot of people who are so hesitant about selling their homes and moving, but I know that this is a great opportunity for a lot of people. Do you ever run across people it's not a good fit for? I do. So you, I mean, you really evaluate that and look at them and, and help them make that decision. I do. And, you know, it, it isn't a good fit for everyone um, or the right fit, but I always have a backup for them. Mm-hmm. I refer them to some of our competitors that maybe if they're looking for a rental. Mm-hmm. So I never just 
you know, disregard yeah. them. Yeah. I always try to help them. Well, thank you so much, Ken. I, I really appreciate it. Um, we've been talking with Ken at Glenlock, at the village of Glenlock Farms. Um, it's a retirement community. And give us your website. It's www.glenlockseniorliving.com. All right, we'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio. Thank you.